Hi, Brent Tech here. Where tech is made simple. So Microsoft is busy rolling out yet another maintenance update for the stable version of Microsoft Edge for desktop, which they made available on the 22nd of June, which was once again late yesterday in my region. Now, this is actually the fifth maintenance update that Microsoft is rolling out for version 114. So clearly, Microsoft is trying to address numerous issues in the uh, latest stable release. And if you're not seeing this latest um, update, it will roll out progressively over one or more days, according to Microsoft. So just be patient, because I'm sure you'll be getting it sooner than later. Now, um, after the update has been applied, the version and build is bumped up to 114.0.1823.58. So that's been bumped up from 0.55 to 0.58. And the release notes tell us once again that Microsoft say they have fixed various bugs and performance issues for the stable and extended stable release. So if you have experienced any issues uh, in the browser, just double check that it is up to date. Now, um, I have seen one or two comments this morning on the channel that um, some users have actually found that this latest point release is a lot more stable. Point 58 is a lot more stable than 0.55. Apparently some users were experiencing stability issues with 0.55 and now with 0.58 apparently it has resolved those stability problems. So as mentioned, this is another maintenance update. So if you have experienced any issues in the browser with version 114, just double check that it is up to date. Now with that all out the way, um, just to focus on the key highlight with this point release update, where it seems now that Microsoft is making the split screen feature more widely available now in the stable version. Now, the split screen feature, as I have been posting on when it um, was in preview, has been on a controlled rollout to the stable version over the last month or so. So you may have seen this feature, you may have not, but I'm just bringing it to your attention because today on both my Edge browsers, um, on my two different devices in the stable version, I noticed it was a feature that had become available in the stable version where previously that was not the case. And the split screen feature is part of the Project Phoenix uh, upgrade and features that Microsoft is bringing to the stable version progressively. And this is no another indication that another Project Phoenix um, feature is now making its way down to the stable version. And if you want more info regarding the split screen, I have posted numerous videos previously, so just do a search on the channel accordingly. Now, just to do a quick recap though for the purpose of today's video. Uh, the split screen feature, if you're not seeing it, just double check that it is actually enabled in the toolbar by heading to your settings, heading over to the appearance page, and then just scrolling down to where you can customize the toolbar, and here you'll see split screen button. Just make sure that's toggled on. Uh, because if it, if it is available in your region and this button is turned off, obviously you will not see it in your toolbar as a quick shortcut button and feature. Now, split screen, um, like the name in PLAS, um, is a multitasking feature that lets you basically open up two tabs in one window. So it's very handy uh, for multitasking. You can also do things like you can... Uh, increase the size of one of those split screens accordingly to your own personal choice and preference. And a lot of users are actually finding this a very useful and handy feature uh, in the browser. Yeah, we get our new tab, which if we click on, obviously opens up that new tab. And yeah, we have a search. And I'm just going to do a search quickly uh, for my YouTube channel as an example, just to demonstrate, to do a quick recap. And there you go. You can see um, a very nice, handy multitasking feature. You can view those two pages simultaneously in the same window. And yet to the top right of the split screen, we have a couple of options. You can switch between linked and unlinked tabs. You can click on the three dotted menu, which is more options, where you can open screen in a new tab. You can view split screen pages in two tabs. And um, just to give you two examples, and you can actually X out of the actual split screen. And yeah, you, you also have frequently visited, which is a nice, handy, kind of useful, almost for want of a better word, bookmarking feature, which um, will let you open up your most visited sites um, in the split screen mode. So as mentioned, that's becoming more widely available now in the stable version. So go check it out um, if you haven't noticed. And that's now that maintenance update, which now includes the new split screen feature, which is now becoming more widely available in the stable version of Microsoft Edge for desktop. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.